Sioux was discovered in the summer of 1990 in western South Dakota. She was found in a package of rocks that we refer to as the Hell Creek Formation. We think the Hell Creek Formation was about 66, 67, the part that Sioux was in a million years ago or so. Sioux the Tyrannosaurus Rex, named after Sue Hendrickson, the paleontologist who found her, may not necessarily even be a she, but her discovery was like waking a sleeping giant. At the time, T. rex was a really rare animal. Carnivores are generally rarer than their prey items. But even more rare was Sue's size. At 42 feet long, she's estimated to have weighed between 18 and 20,000 pounds. Her skeleton right now weighs about 3,500 pounds. The skull alone, skull and jaws, weigh about 600 pounds. Sue was also the most complete Tyrannosaurus rex fossil ever found, having almost 90% of her skeleton. She is the, not only the most complete T. rex known, but she is the biggest T. rex known. That may be related to the fact that she's the oldest T. rex known. But it would be a while before the public would get a good look at Sue. In 1992, while Sue was being prepared to be displayed by the team who found her, the FBI showed up and seized Sue's bones. A legal fight over the land where Sue was found followed. For the next 18 months, Sue languished until the court awarded ownership to the landowner, who then sold her to an auction house. In October 1997, Sue went up for auction. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sotheby's. We have for auction today the fossil of a Tyrannosaurus rex known as Sue. And I begin with a bid of $500,000. Now bidding at $500,000, I'm bidding at $500,000, $600,000, $700,000. Now it's bidding at $1 million. At $1 million, now bidding at $1 million. Now $5 million and cetera. 5.175. <laughs> Seven million six hundred thousand. Fair warning then at seven million six hundred thousand. Up here. Seven million six hundred thousand. The Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago outbid everyone, and Sue would be put on display for all the world to see. We won the auction at seven point six million. So now we have we've bought Sue and reality sinks in. Be careful what you wish for. There was a lot to do before Sue's May 17th, 2000 debut. The first thing to be done would, was to pack her up and move her to Chicago. She was in New York. My preparation folks, we had a big job ahead of us to take all the rock off of Sue. They built exhibit labs so people could see just how labor intensive it was to take the rock off such a huge fossil. The next step was preparing. Preparing really is, is Simple concept, when you collect a big bone, you collect a lot of rock around that bone to help hold the bone together. And so when you get it back to the museum, you have to t open up the field jacket, take that plaster jacket off, and then remove the rock from the bone so that it can be seen and studied. The last step before Sue's unveiling was mounting her skeleton. And these are real bones. We mounted the real skeleton of Sue. So it's done in such a fashion that it can be taken back apart. It's sort of like an erector set. Finally, seven years after being unearthed, Sue made her worldwide debut. Get ready to welcome Chicago T-Rex. This is Sue. As one of the people who knows her best, Simpson says, Sue's significance to research, exhibition, and education cannot be discounted. Every day there are spectacular fossils being found, but Sue is sort of an unusual combination of what's arguably the most popular dinosaur, T. rex, the biggest, most complete example of that, and sort of a notorious history 
preceding her arrival here at Field Museum. I think that's a, gonna be a tough thing to beat. Sue has become an icon of Field Museum. And more than that, I think Sue's become an icon of Chicago.